Today, we're going to find out what's going on with this ETH merge. So basically, to explain what's going on with the ETH merge that's supposed to happen around September 15, 2022, we're switching from a proof of work system to a proof of stake system. So proof of work is the system that we have more experience with, where we use coal miners and they mine and make sure that the transactions are valid and they get paid for settling the transactions. So with proof of stake, it's supposed to eliminate the mining fees. So we wouldn't have any more extremely high Ethereum gas fees anymore. And if the gas fees are lower, then there's more trading. People can get back into the function of everything without feeling like they're spending more on gas fees than they're spending on the actual asset. Proof of stake is the death of Bitcoin and Ethereum mining, but it's also the birth of cheap gas fees. Some people look at it as a positive, some see it as a negative. It depends on which side you're on, but on proof of stake, the network is actually run by individuals that own the tokens or the coin, and they actually hold the nodes to keep the network running versus a proof of work situation where the Bitcoin miners are controlling the transactions and getting paid from the transactions and raising fees because of electricity fees.